Good morning. It's really good to be back here uh, hosting this video. Unfortunately, I've been MIA because of a TIA for the last seven weeks. Seven weeks ago, I woke up needing to relieve myself. I went into the bathroom and Julie did so. And I was washing my hands in the sink. I suffered a mini stroke. Totally unexpected. I didn't think I was in any ill health, but I suffered a mini stroke and it shocked me completely. I went to the hospital and after about two hours, it, it cleared, but it Changes had been made in my life and my lifestyle, but part of this was not doing any work for the last number of weeks. I'm only getting back into the swing of things today, and this is my first video. So, apologies for not posting for the last seven weeks. So, let's talk about having that mini stroke. I came to realize that there's more important things to living is to live today and not to be concerned about the past or the future. I can make plans for the future, but I may change those plans, or as I experienced seven weeks ago, I may not wake up to see those plans. So I can make plans for the future, but then I have to let the future go. I've got to really concentrate on being alive today. Throughout my videos, on my blogs, and my website, I speak about the fact that we're spiritual and mortal beings in these mental, mortal, physical bodies. We have 24 hours to live, and only 24 hours. These 24 hours right now. I can't change what happened yesterday, or last week, or seven weeks ago, or in my childhood. I can't change any of that. My life is about living today for these 24 hours. I got so caught up in my work, and in my therapy, and in my programs of recovery, and working with clients, and improving my spiritual wellness, that I've been kind of neglecting my family. And in this experience of having a mini stroke, I came to realize that I need to be present today for my wife, my children, my family, my friends, and not to be lost in worrying about the past or trying to fix the past or worrying about the future, but be present today. The truth is, I can't change any part of my past. I can't change the events that happened to me in my childhood. I can't even change what happened seven weeks ago. I'm not, not the same person today that I was seven weeks ago. Seven weeks ago, I suffered a mini stroke. And the seven weeks have passed since that event that I have learned from life that I'm a different person today than I was then. My health has changed, my, my diet, my, my, my activities, everything has changed completely. I'm no longer the same person I was seven weeks ago. But the same way as a child, I'm 60 years of age today, I'm married, I have two teenage children. I'm not the 17-year-old or the 15-year-old or the 12-year-old or the 4-year-old me that I was in childhood. So many years have passed of life and experience that I'm no longer the same person. So what happened to me as a child didn't happen to me. It happened to a past aspect of me. I had to find a way to process, heal, and release this past trauma memory. Well, there was more than one. I had to find a way of giving them back to the rightful owner. So it happened to me at the age of 17. I had to process, heal, and release that and give that back to the 17-year-old version of me. Likewise, with the 15-year-old version and the 12-year-old version, the 4-year-old version, and the infant me. I had to go through each of these events and give them back to the rightful owner. Now when someone speaks to me about what happened to me in the past, I can talk about them without being triggered. I can say, yes, what happened to those children or that child was terrible. But it didn't happen to me, so I don't take on the feelings of what happened. I believe mental illness is trying to live with the past in the present moment. That's what mental illness is. I believe we're meant to live solely today with joy, hope and purpose. And whatever happened in the past, we have to let it go and focus simply on these 24 hours. So this stroke was really an awakening for me. I know, I know. I, I learned from my wife that my children were in tears seeing they lost a dad. And it changed my perspective of my life. I'm so busy with my therapy and with my spiritual practice and with my working and studying my blogs and my videos and whatever. I'm, I'm in my office maybe eight hours a day. But my wife and my children don't see me from dawn to dust. I, I provide for them. I, I'm, I'm here as a parent, as, as a present in the home, but I'm not, I'm not present. I had to find a way to let go of the past, set aside the future, and to be present in the moment, present living today. And that's where 
That's my battle today, is to be present today. And to do that, I've got to let go of the past. And I, I developed a practice called the Victory Principle. It's a way in which one can process, heal, and release past trauma events, those memories, in as simple as one session. And when we achieve this goal, we get to be present living today. We can't be triggered by past events anymore because they're not our events. They've been given back to the rightful owner. So thank you very much for joining me today and I look forward to speaking to you again next week. Thank you.